why does it bother me so much when I see on Facebook or Instagram or some other social media platform with these like dribbling coaches or tech technical coaches and they have their hat backwards what what is that like look at me I'm gonna set up a obstacle course for these these players to do this drill that I'm putting on Instagram so I get views and people watch it I'm like uh, and it just annoys me I'm like that is a waste of time congrats you made them go through hurdles threw them a ball they touched it once and then they hit an upper V shot at the end of your stupid obstacle course. How about go teach PE at some local elementary school and take a van and drive school to school and do obstacle courses? Because that's fun for kids. That's not real. That's not going to help them be better. You, it helps with views on Instagram, I guess. But why is it you have to have your hat backwards? What is that? I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm your soccer trainer. I must have my hat backwards. No, you don't. And it's like, I don't know what it is. I'm like, and maybe I'm the only one. Maybe I'm the only one bothered by it. But or I'm just at that age where, you know, wearing your hat backwards is stupid. Uh, just wear a beanie. If you don't like the the brim on the front. And you must turn around so the sun can stay off your neck, I guess. I don't know. But what is this? You you, you turn your your hat backwards and you get a couple tattoos and you're the soccer trainer. Because that's your identity or that's what... I, I guess we all do it. You know, everyone has a style. Except my style is completely different. That no one copies my style because it's outrageous and stupid. I wear my, um, my socks are pulled up past my knees, um, and I'm wearing three quarter pants, purple shoes and a purple top because I'm a millennium soccer coach right now. Uh, and I look like someone playing golf in the 1950s. That's, I guess that's how I'm comfortable. So I guess I shouldn't be ripping on the soccer trainers that have their hat backwards. I don't know. It just bothers me. That's annoying that it bothers me. But what bothers me more is you soccer trainers out there doing these obstacle courses for skills or whatever that skills company is. And look what I did. Uh, We did this soccer drill and then we kicked a ball into a pool and the ball skipped and went into the net. I'm a better soccer player. No, you're not. You You did an obstacle course. Congrats. So, I don't know. I mean, it's probably me. I have issues. But when I see that, it just makes me sick and I don't like it. But it's not my fault I feel this way. I just don't... What's the point of doing a obstacle course for skill acquisition? It's... I, I don't know how it helps. You know who's really good is that one girl does a skill a day. She's legit. Like, she's high level. Like, she does, like, these crazy technical moves. And I've been watching her for a while. And if you see her progression from when she was age, I think, 12 to 16, complete different player. She's getting better. But you can't see that in some stupid obstacle course. Oh, now look. I I, I hop a a hurdle, did a high jump, backflip, a gainer uh, to a soccer finish to a upper V killed a spider look at me uh, Instagram I must be good no you're not and put your hats on forward oh backwards silly dumb crazy get a beanie the podcast you just heard was made using Anchor ever thought about making your own podcast Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.